He's a genius when it comes to wheat. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review and lots of people trying to disturb me. Don't have a whole lot of time. Last time I was walk, 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 walk. So, was at Jungle Gyms the other day, yesterday, and I saw they had the Gen Genesis Guinness Irish Wheat on sale in six packs, I think. I want to say this was $4 for a six pack. Now, quite often I get suspicious when I see Jungle Gyms have beer that marked down because I think it was $10 a six pack originally. $9.99. I think this was $3.99 or $4.99. I forget. Um, so I look for a, an expiration date. There's a good chance there isn't one. There isn't like a bottle date, but it's probably this is a summer beer and it is nearly October. So some of it is it's probably still good, but they're trying to clear their shelves because their pumpkin beers are coming in and I hope to start reviewing some seriously. I mean, one of my favorite beers is the uh, pumpkin ale from Kentucky Ale. So let's find out. Now, according to Untapped, I checked into this back in June. Oh, that is nice. And the thing about Guinness is they feel like an old brewery and they feel like a bought out brewery at the same time. And I don't know if it's because the stuff we get here, you know, it passes through so many hands and they get them so imported by Diago, uh, Di uh, Di uh, Diageo, Diageo. Now what? Oh, I know you're on the way home. God bless America. Uh, Guinness, product of Ireland. So Guinness USA, Norfolk, Connecticut. I don't know if Guinness is still... Yes, I know. So anyway, artificially carbonated, and that pisses me off. I want, I would love to try the real Guinness beer. I've got to get to Ireland and try the real Guinness. I know it's lower in alcohol than what we get. It's not that Guinness export. It's not the extra stout. I, I'm understanding that the stuff in the can with the widget is the closest with the nitrogen injection and my eyeball itches for some reason. I haven't reviewed that, I don't think. Well, let's find out. Let's flip over to my website at brianlape.com, and I have a list of all my beer reviews and all the videos. So under Guinness, I have previously shot American Blonde Lager and Rye Pale Ale. Maybe this is a repeat, I don't know. But I don't like that it's artificially carbonated. Oh, it's got a nice wheat aroma, though. That expected clove. Hints of citrus. This is like summertime in a bottle. Very refreshing. Not that Budweiser garbage. Brewer's Project, St. James Gate, Dublin. 5.3%. Refreshing taste, full-bodied wheat beer, zesty citrus, subtle clove, and banana notes. That has to be the most accurate label I've ever read on a bottle or can of beer in my life. That's exactly how I would describe that. That is unbelievable. It's like I wrote it. It's. I wish it was naturally carbonated. It is still a little cold because I wasn't sure if I was doing this one or another beer review. My family's on the way home and I've got to hurry. So, what did I give it last time? Four. I agree with that. I absolutely agree. Refreshing taste. Full-bodied wheat beer. Zesty citrus. I mean, this is exactly... It's got this, this citrusy kind of lemony, not, not orange, but kind of like hints of lemon and lemon zest, right? It's not overly lemon. It's kind of that, that presence of a lemon. Hints of clove and banana on the nose. That's from the yeast and the wheat. Uh, the wheat. The wheat, I know, yeast in the wheat, duh. That's why I disturbed the yeast, because I wanted that. If you don't disturb the yeast, you won't get it so cloudy. It's got a nice yellowy, um, kind of peachy color. It is cloudy because I just, you know, the, the yeast disturbed. There's still some in the bottom. If I just poured it straight, it would be the similar color, but much clearer. However, you wouldn't get the banana and clove as noticeable. So if you don't want banana and clove, and you don't want that, that zesty citrus, pour it without disturbing the yeast. And that's true of almost any real wheat beer, especially if they're using the correct Hefeweizen and wheat uh, yeast. I keep getting wheat and yeast mixed up because I'm trying to go too quickly. So what? My family disturbs me and the dogs bark their freaking heads off. So be it. Mm. 
But I like that it's just a hint. Now you get a lot of Belgian beers and that banana will really come out with some of those Belgian yeasts. Especially when you get a Belgian wheat beer. Quite often those, those are slightly sour. This isn't. It has a hint of sourness essence from that lemony yeast, that's lemony yeast, lemony zest. But it, I wouldn't call it a sour beer. Um, but it does get the, the, the saliva glands going. I mean, the, the carbonation's good, but I really wish it was natural. Although, the bubbles are small, so I could be, could be very wrong here. And that's just too cold. Nice white head on there, but the bubbles just seem too large and rising too fast to be naturally carbonated. Could be a combination. Some breweries will do that, where they get a little bit of natural carbonation, and then they, they boost it up a little bit. Um, the size of the bubbles feel... Mm. Nice hints of banana and clove on the nose. Mm. This is kind of beer that you sip, you know, and we're, we're past the dog days of summer now, but around here you can't, we were getting in October. It could be 60 degrees one day and 85 degrees the next day. This is a great beer for this time of year, I feel, because it can be warm and the humidity will be low. So you can sit outside, and as the sun goes down, it'll actually cool off, as opposed to when it's the summer, like June or August around here, and the humidity is still 75%, and the temperature drops like 4 degrees after the sun sets, and, it's just, and the air doesn't move, and it just kind of envelops you, and just stays around. We have a nice breeze going today, bright sunshine, it's great. It's a nice Sunday afternoon. That is a fantastic beer, though, for what it is. Very nice. I mean, I've had better wheat beers, and, but I've had worse. Um, and so I think a four out of five, which is what I gave it on my last check-in, is very warranted. It's right on. Hopefully this is not a, you know, and, and if it is, I'll post them both up and we'll see if people even notice. <laughs> Plus my Mac has been acting weird. Vinyl Cut has been complaining about old libraries. I've got a lot of file maintenance to do. I pulled out a lot of them, but I need to pull out more. So who knows? Maybe there could have been out there and it's been you know, destroy. So there you go. Thank you very much, Irish. And if you share this video a thousand times, I guarantee you this, I will, in two, within two years, visit the brewery and bring you some footage from there. If anybody knows how on a Nikon D7000, I can have that light, the red light on. I turned that red light off years ago for taking pictures, but for video it would be great. Um, but anyways, I don't know where I cut off. I was talking about how good this was. Four out of five. But I'm serious about YouTube is trying to bury content like beer reviews. Not just us. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. So I'm starting to show these things on BitChute as well as Minds.com. I'm on Gab.ai. So look for Brain Muffin everywhere. Most likely it's me. Share these videos. Tweet them out. Put them on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. It's not good enough to just like a, a tweet from any beer reviewer that you like. Uh, take the video and just share it. Don't retweet. Make it an organic share and that makes a huge difference on where these things show up in the algorithm, how they're counted, and everything else. I swear there are videos I've had out for years that had 50 to 60,000 views and now it's like 20,000. So YouTube is just screwing around with stuff. They don't, they're, you know, they don't like everybody and they were most, a lot of things that, that it's becoming more commercialized. They're becoming the next network. And that's part of the problem. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for clicking like. Thanks for resharing these videos. And enjoy this while the summer, the dog days of summer are still hanging around. We still get some warm days from time to time. Uh, very good wheat beer from a, I don't know, I don't think they're independent anymore. They're probably bought by, who knows, they're probably owned by three or four different corporations by now. But still, a very old brewery. It's a good wheat. All right, thank you very much, and we'll see you later. Goodbye. All right, why did this, why can't the camera tell me that it's messing up? Why? Rye ale, but not the lager, not the Irish wheat. June 16th. I mean, do I have beer reviews from June I haven't edited yet? I mean, that's, that's very long even for me. Well, we'll find out. I don't care. Golly, day. This thing on cough will not leave. Marker!